So uh, now let us run another little application that is quite useful. I recommend this tool for anyone who want to clean out their system a little bit more thorough, uh, maybe do some of this automatic uh, removal of the uh, temporary folders. This tool does it. And that's CCleaner. It's uh, free to use, they have a free version, but when you go to their homepage, um, be careful to not accidentally select their pro trial. They're a little bit sneaky about it. So what we can do first is go to tools and go to the uninstaller. CCleaner's uninstaller is absolutely great and uh, you'll see a lot of different softwares which you don't see uh, anywhere else uh, popping up in like Windows. Uh, and uh, it does do a much better job at removing the files you don't want to have uh, than many other applications uh, and especially the built-in Microsoft one. So for example uh, Figma, I haven't used it at all. So we can just uninstall this client and we just click uninstall and we can even uninstall some Windows uh, store apps which are not usually uninstallable but you know. There we have it and uh, Figma agent we can uh, uninstall that as well and sometimes they are kind of still here and when you click uninstall you get this little uh, issue here. So you just click uh, F5 and uh, then update it and you can see now it's gone. Here you can see enlisted, um, it's 15 gigs. I want to uninstall this, so you can just uninstall it here. 15 gigs back, fantastic. So that's how it goes, uninstall everything you don't need. Just go through this list of programs and uh, for the programs you had before but no longer use or programs that came with your PC and you never bothered to uninstall. Well, you can uninstall them here, fantastic and easy. Now we'll go back to this custom clean session. Here we have Windows, Cage cookies like uh, Microsoft Edge, Chromium, Windows Explorer, like a lot of different stuff here, like empty recycle bin, temporary files, blah blah blah. You can leave everything checked in like it is. Um, and be a little bit careful because if you click in everything you might remove more than you want to remove but the preset uh, options are um, very much good enough. Then you can go to application and uh, you might understand that uh, your internet browser has cache uh, and cookies and you can delete those cache and cookies by checking these boxes. You can even delete the session, so all your tabs you have up, but I don't want to do it. Even Thunderbird, we can delete session, site preferences, stuff there, I haven't used it in a while. And yeah, basically that. So uh, just check everything you want to uh, delete, and here we have Skype Metro app. So stuff that's already pre-checked is... Uh, usually good enough but uh, you can click in some other things you want to clean up and remember this doesn't remove these program it just clear up the cache and temporary files of these uh, programs so even though you click in everything here um, nothing will stop working it will just uh, clear up unused files so uh, we have both these checked and we can click run cleaner directly or just analyze to see how much we actually would be able to remove so, 5 gigs. We can remove 5 gigs doing this. So let's run the cleaner and get those 5 gigabytes back. And there we go, 5 gigabytes removed. And now we can go to registry and let all these be checked and just scan for some different keys and weird data in the registry. So whenever you like missing stuff and weird stuff going on in the registry that's not proper anymore and changed, uh, it leaves some junk behind. And usually this junk is very small, but if you never done this clean, it can be a substantial amount. So it's worth running a registry check and you just review selected issues, which is all, and uh, it asks you to make a backup, that's smart. Uh, I'll just click fix all selected issues and close and I've done that for years and I haven't had any issues yet but if you get some issues <laughs> don't blame me it asks you to make your registry restore point which is probably smart but well, as I said I never had any issues so I'll continue to do this uh, and there we have it we removed all this issue don't know how much space it were per se but uh, well let us check our drive now 
And now we're done with CCleaner. You can also go to options and of course turn off its starting every time the system starts. It's probably a good idea to <laughs> not have it run every time your system starts. But it's a great tool in general, so I hope that helped you. Hope we did clean up some stuff there, and if it did, please leave a like and do subscribe for future videos. This is your host, Jim Edison, signing out.